Hey guitarist, it's Sean. Welcome to today's Guitar Beginner's Guide. Today I'm going to be showing you five really great chords to get you started off. Now if you're unfamiliar with what chords are, on any musical instrument it's when you play combinations of notes that sound really, really great together. Now there's lots of different types of chords in this world. We call them qualities. There are uh, chords called major chords, minor chords, seventh chords, diminished augmented, the list goes on and on and on. But today we're going to focus on what are known as major chords. And which chords are they? We're going to do A, C, D, E, and G. Now throughout this video you'll be seeing a close-up of my hand uh, demoing, showing you how to play each of the chords, and beside it you're going to see what's known as a chord grid. Here is what a chord grid looks like. Now if you are unfamiliar with chord grids, they're just simply a way for guitar players to write down you know, how a chord goes so that we don't, we don't forget. Uh, we can share it with friends, uh, we can learn chords out of books just by using the diagrams. So I've created a video explaining what chord grids are. It's a short little video. The link is down below, so if you need to either touch up on your chord grid knowledge or this is all brand new to you, please go and check that out and come on back. Otherwise, let's get down to it. Alright, so up first is the A major chord. Uh, this is what it looks and sounds like. Uh, great chord, and the way it works is the first string is played open, then I take my third finger, I place it on the second fret on the second string, my second finger goes on the third string second fret, and my first finger on the second fret on the fourth string. I play the fifth string open, but I don't play the sixth string. Okay, so if you look at the diagram, the sixth string is actually X'd off. Okay, and there it is. Now, the tricky one, or the tricky part with this particular chord is that everybody's stacked into one fret. And I've had students in the past that have very large fingers, much larger than mine, where this was near impossible for them. So, an alternative is to take the first finger out of the equation and basically swap like this. So in other words, I've got my pinky on my second string, my third finger on my third string, and my second finger on my fourth string. So that may work for you if this just doesn't. Up next is the C major chord. Uh, here's how this guy works. So it's the first string played open, it's the first finger, first fret on the second string, we play the third string open, we place the second finger on the fourth string at the second fret, and then our third finger goes on the fifth string, third fret. We don't play the sixth string. Again, it's X'd off if you look at the diagram. And that's what that guy sounds like. All right, so up next is the D chord. Looks and sounds like that. Um, so here's what's going on. We take our second finger, we place it on the first string at the second fret. We take our third finger and place that on the second string at the third fret. We take our first finger, we place that on the third string second fret, and we play the fourth string open. We don't play the fifth or the sixth string. Now when I went through that just now, I went from the first string down, like, like what we put on the first string to, and then on the second and so on. You may want to try it like this. First finger on the third string, second fret, and then take your second finger on the first string, second fret, and then your third finger on the third fret on the second string. Okay? That wasn't in the same kind of order that we did with the others, but you may find that in the beginning to be much easier to do by starting with the first finger like so. All right, so up next, we're going to play my favorite chord. It was the first chord I ever learned called E. And I think I played E for a week straight before I learned anything else and drove everybody nuts. But just before I show this to you, just a quick reminder that if you're enjoying this content, it would be a huge, huge help to me if you would like and subscribe and leave some comments. It would be so great to hear from you, and I really appreciate it. Thank you in advance. All right, back to the E chord. All right. This is the E major chord, my favorite chord, the one I learned first. Now this one uses all of the strings of the guitar, and um, what's going on is our first string is played open, second string is also open, 
And then we take the first finger, we place it on the first fret on the third string, and then we take our third finger, and it goes on the second fret on the fourth string, and then our second finger on the fifth string second fret, and the sixth string is played open. Now the first few times that you go to play this, you may want to change up the order in which you place your fingers at first. So uh, of course, first two guys are open, first finger, third string, and then maybe try placing these two together, because you see how they share a fret, on your fifth and your fourth string. So in other words, that kind of thing. And you may find that easier. All right, and finally, the G chord. Now, there's been a lot of debate over the years whether this is G or this is G. The answer to that question is yes. They both are. Uh, this is just one version of a G chord, and this is another. Uh, both are quite popular, and uh, I'll show you how to play both of them. I'm going to start with the, the regular G chord. Now, regardless of which one you're playing, there's a bit of a challenge here if you're just getting started on the guitar. And this is it right here. And what that is, is I'm using my second and my third finger. You see this guy, third finger's way up here on the first string, and this one's down here on the, on the sixth string. So a bit of a stretch at first. Uh, so let's just kind of break this down. So third finger goes on your third fret on your first string, second finger, third fret, sixth string, and then your first finger, goes on your fifth string, second fret. And the other strings, all the others are played open, okay? So, looks and sounds like that. Now, as for the other G, it's almost identical, but what's going on is we're using the third and the fourth finger like so. So your pinky's on the first string, third fret. Your third finger is on the third fret, second string. And then these were as they were in the last chord, so fifth string, second fret, sixth string, third fret, okay? And you play them all. So which one should you play? Well, I would start just with the plain Jane ordinary one, maybe leave the pinky out of the equation for right now, and then work your way up into doing this. Uh, it depends on what's going on with a particular song. Like, it may be calling for you to play this G or this one. Uh, it's just great to know both. So there you are. There's those five chords to help you get started on the guitar. Now, if you were playing these and you were finding that, you know, you were getting some kind of weird, things were coming out kind of how you wanted, you know, they weren't so clear and it didn't feel very good or, or whatever it was. Um, I did another video called Fingers and Thumbs and I'm going to put the uh, link down below and it addresses all of those kinds of concerns. So I would highly recommend that you check that out. Well, I hope that helped. Um, please comment and let me know how you made out with your chords. And until next time, I'm Sean.